This video is brought to you by G Fuel Energy Formula. Use code LKM to get a very nice discount on your next purchase and select your flavor from a huge collection they have. Check it out today and use code LKM. Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we're gonna be talking about something different, something that I don't usually cover on this channel because there's a few games which I do play off the camera, games that I thoroughly enjoy playing and I think they're a lot of fun. And one of those games is Chivalry 2. So as the title says, I started playing Chivalry 2 in 2022, so about 20-25 days ago. And one of the first things I've noticed when I got into it is how fun it is because I was looking for a title which is gonna give me those epic huge battles with axes and swords and bows and arrows, siege towers, attacking the castle, defending the castle, defending the village and so on. And Chivalry 2 is a game which actually does have that. So one of the first things which I noticed when I got into this game is that the combat and the fighting is easy to learn but hard to master and that's basically gonna be one of those games because of course this game is gonna be giving you different uh, weapons to choose from that either being a long sword or a short sword or you're gonna be having an axe or a bow and arrow etc etc or even combining your sword with a shield which is gonna be obviously that extra protection you're gonna be needing against fighting various enemies on the map. Now in the game itself you do have a few classes to choose from for example archer, vanguard, footman and knight and each one of those uh, classes are gonna be having different weapons to kind of choose from and obviously different uh, skins and different pieces of clothing you can wear which you do unlock by fighting as that class so the more battles you obviously do you can buy different parts of the armor itself which is gonna make you stand out on the field itself. Now the first thing that I noticed when I got into this game I loaded up the massive scale 64 player battle because I wanted to experience that rush, that fight and by looking at the videos from other people, especially gameplay videos, I noticed that how brutal it can be and that's something that I definitely noticed. From the first moment I got into it there was this uh, at the beginning of the match you basically have this intro scene where you're directly facing the enemy and as soon as the battle starts you're gonna have people rushing from both sides to meet each other and that's those cool moments from you know films and movies where you have this uh, basically clash of like two uh, factions and you're gonna have cavalry going around them you're gonna have archers firing you're gonna have people losing their limbs that's the first thing I noticed here and of course course the first match wasn't really my proudest one because I got absolutely smashed by people because obviously I haven't learned all of the movesets yet. Now in this game you have a few movesets you can use for example combining those moves to kind of make uh, your fights uh, more uh, how would I say more streamlined where your attacks are gonna be you know trying to fool the enemy where are you going to attack which a part of the of the of the limbs and the body you're going to attack which side you're going to attack from and that's something that um this game does really well so when it comes to attacks you do have the usual slash which i admit is something that i have been spamming at the first couple of matches because obviously i'm still a noob in this game but then i learned okay maybe the slashes are not going to be enough you know spamming that left click is not gonna be very useful for me so what i started doing is that i started combining different moves your character can do like the overhead strike or the stab itself or even making the enemy think i'm gonna do an actual stab where i basically stop my weapon and then do a slash and what he did is he protected one part of the body meanwhile you know leaving the rest of that body exposed which obviously gives me upper hand in combat and then when everything settled and i learned how to fight properly well i'm still kind of a noob that's when the game started to really shine, especially when you play the music in the background, some cool action music and you start rushing that castle. Oh boy, that was kind of fun because at the same time you're gonna have archers who are gonna be sniping you across the map and that's I think one of the minuses I have in this game that archers are too OP. And I checked that because I actually started the archer class and I got into the game and I'm gonna be honest, I was standing on a hill just firing those arrows especially if you have your special ability because each class has a different special ability you can utilize for the archers you basically can place a, a fire pit that you can light your arrows on fire and when you hit someone you're going to set that character on fire and he's gonna be losing more hp than just hitting him with a normal you know arrow 
So then, when I got into an archer class, I was, as I said, standing on a hill, trying to attack people, and that was kind of easy, because whenever you have a huge fight, especially 64 players um, in the match itself, you're gonna have a huge number of people in one area fighting each other, so you don't really have to aim to hit someone, because each arrow that hits an enemy opponent is gonna be better for your team, because they're gonna start losing HP, and they're gonna be brought down very easily, but at the same time, if you do get attacked as an archer you, if you cannot defend yourself you're pretty much gonna be destroyed in one to two hits which i think is nice but at the same time the actual archers are really op and i wish that there was something you know something that can be done about it because you know there's been some moments where there's been like i don't know five six archers who were just simply targeting uh, three or four of us and it was kind of difficult to fight in those matches because the moment you spawn, the moment you start rushing that castle, you're gonna be hit with an arrow by the same guy because he hates your guts. But I think there is some positivity in that and some fun in that because if there is someone that really wants me dead, I'm gonna find a way to get across and get to you. And that's one of the things and experiments which um, I think Chivalry has with each match is that each match is going to be different. So if you do have an archer or someone attacking only you, Finding a way to get to them and actually fool them and destroy them was kind of fun. Now when it comes to the presentation and graphics in this game, I think it's really nice. Like the graphics themselves are good. I mean, the, the actual level design is nice and the most importantly, there is enough uh, ways to just uh, approach a different objective or defend each objective that it makes things interesting. So, for example, if you're going to be defending a castle, there's going to be a few entrances people can enter. So you kind of have to think, okay, which uh, exits or which doorways am I going to protect so we don't get surrounded? And that's something that I noticed if the team is well uh, organized in that sense, we're gonna have people separate into a few zones, you're not going to be surrounded. But there's been a few moments where, for example, I'm trying to defend the castle and the entire, you know, like, right, fl um, right flank absolutely gets destroyed, you're gonna be overrun with enemies and that's pretty much going to be the end of you. So, of course, each match is gonna be different in that sense where sometimes you're going to feel like you're absolutely blasting through enemies because you're gonna have a good team uh, and people fighting behind behind you, but at the same time there is gonna be moments where you're gonna feel completely helpless because people are gonna be fighting against are really good at the game so you're gonna be destroyed very easily and that's something which happened to me a, a few good times. But of course there is some fun in that because one of the coolest moments I've had and that's been happening a few times now because each um, like for example game mode like let's say the massive scale one you're gonna have different objectives that you have to do. So if you're gonna be attacking a castle, you have to breach the doors, etc, etc. Now, if you're gonna be defending that, you obviously have to destroy those uh, people and not let them pass through it until the timer runs out and basically you win. So sometimes you're gonna be absolutely losing the battle. You're, you're not gonna be able to do anything. And then at the last stage, when those enemies, basically what they have to do is destroy you kill you enough times and the match is done, what you're gonna be doing is gonna be fighting with everything you got. And a few times, I noticed that the team I was fighting with, they really went out of their way to do something crazy. And there's been a few moments where we were losing everything and, that, and during that last stand, we somehow turned the battle around and we win. And that's, I think, one of the moments which um, I will remember all the time when it comes to Chivalry 2. And obviously, besides using your weapons, you're gonna be able to use different stuff around you, for example, like picking up a barrel and then tossing it at the enemy, or if the enemy is basically attacking your gates and you're just going up there throwing rocks at them, that's one of the really cool moments when you're actually gonna hit someone with that rock inside of a head, that was, that was kinda cool to have. Now, at the same time, when it comes to some of the problems I've noticed in this game, it, it comes down to servers. Now, I don't know if this is a problem for me, because, I don't know, it might be on my end but there has been a few times where the servers were definitely having hiccups where uh, you know sometimes you're gonna be slashing an enemy and that slash is not going to be recognized and then there is gonna be some lag and stutter in that sense and then basically this attack is gonna be recognized a few seconds later but that goes the same way if someone hits you and this 
basically there is this delay, you're gonna turn around, there's gonna be two second window and then you're going to drop to the ground. So there has been those moments, but honestly not to the point where it made the game annoying. So in a few matches I will experience that, but in most matches I didn't really have a huge problem with it. And basically one of the things which um, you have to really think about and one of the things which is gonna make you really stand out in this game and make it a lot more fun is when you start actually learning those moves and then when you actually go into a flow with your weapon and you start absolutely mastering it and then when you get attacked by someone you know how to defend yourself, you know what they're gonna be doing, it's a really cool feeling, especially if you know how to play this and then you start blasting through enemies and you feel unstoppable. That was fun. So these are my thoughts of Chivalry 2. If you want, I'm gonna have more videos on this if you want me to actually stream this or play this a, a bit more. But yeah, I think uh, I think uh, it's, it's one of those games which I was looking forward to and it definitely didn't uh, disappoint me because uh, it gave me fun. And I think uh, games today kinda miss that in some areas where I think the most important thing is for you to enter the game easily. I didn't have, actually have problems finding a match, for me it was relatively fast. I was waiting for maybe 30 seconds to a minute max sometimes when it comes to these fights. But overall I think it's a lot of fun and I think that um, it's one of the most important segments of it and if you want to go enter it and just slash people you can do that but at the same time if you do want to master this and kind of be this uh swordsman or this axeman where you're gonna be exactly doing what you're supposed to do with your weapon i think that's also a huge plus and that's why i said combat is easy to learn but hard to master so thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed this don't forget to tell me down below what do you think about all of this and if you enjoyed this please click that like and subscribe button for more and check us out on twitter and discord and of course huge thanks to my current patreon supporters this is lkm signing out stay classy everyone and bye bye